Oyo Games. Straight from Saitama, Japan. Or as I like to call it, One Punch Man Japan. From the creator, Jeff Finnegan, former global liaison of Force of Will, we have Tenshoku, trading card game. Right here we have the beta set and the gamma set. In this game, it's uh, it's three ofs, and you can get this right now at um, um, HTTP colon whatever uh, TSK TCG dot WordPress dot com. So pretty much, it's a spiritual successor to Force of Will. There's gonna be a Delta to come. Right now, we've got the Beta and Gamma. You can get one of them for fifty dollars shipped to you. Of course, the cards are free. You're just charged for the shipping. And then the you can get both sets, three of three, three boxes of each. You can get them both for ninety-one bucks. So pretty much like a pretty cheap LCG. And um, also check out Jeff's uh, Alternate Souls that he. Uh, does with uh eg the original creator of force of will and yeah so pretty much i'm just gonna for the most part i'm gonna do a flipping through the cards but i'm also gonna talk about the game a little bit i haven't played yet but from what i've read up on it tell you what i know and of course uh that's the uh board right there so i guess to start off you know you've got your rulers there are really no J rulers so far, at least in the Gamma or Beta, but you have these Legend cards, which are things that your ruler can cast. They're better than Resonators, but they're Legends that um, your rulers have Legend counters on them. They can, they can gain Legend counters, then you spin the Legend counters to cast the Legends. Resource deck for the stones or whatnot, Graveyard deck, same thing as Force of Will. Chant standby area. And there actually are standbys. Which they're called something else in this game. But we'll see in a second. So let's crack open one of these. Gamma decks. So um, let's read it. This is a gamma demo set of the game. Tenshoku is a card game developed as a love letter to TCG players all over the world. It's my greatest hope that you will enjoy this game. And create many new wonderful memories with your friends. Tenshoku in Japanese means divine calling. I believe that to keep the spirit of goodness alive in the world, everyone must continue to search for their own Tenshoku. How to use? Please follow similar rules to that of the Force of Will TCG game. You may also include Force of Will TCG cards into your Tenshoku deck to have even more fun. Minimum 40, maximum 60 number of cards per deck, maximum copies per card, 3. So and the site again right there for you like i say 50 bucks for one shipped out to you the cards are free but the shipping will cost you 50 for three of one set and if you want to get both sets that are currently out 91 bucks crack into this guy Tuck boxes filled to the brim. That's how you know you're getting a bunch of value. All right, flipping through these cards. Now, before I flip through the cards, let's see if now nah, let's uh, go through the cards and then and then we'll just point out anything that seems relevant. But um, also like you know the game is on untap right now too. Like if you want to check it out untap dot something i forgot what it is io or something all right but mayan 3.07 genetic perfection ruler so as you see there's no j ruler that goes the back of the card nice back of the card would have been stupidly nice if it had the texture on the back like the foul cards but you know that's just asking too much 
All right, but yeah, so the rulers are one-sided, and then and then instead of a J ruler, you've got legends. The archetype is listed in that green box right there. Well, I mean the type and the archetype. So like you know, ruler, legend, and then these cards are of the Bio Labs archetype. But let's check out this main 307 genetic perfection. Okay, Energize, gonna cost you a red, blue, and a green will, or resource as it's called in this. But um, it's an Android type. Whenever a Resonator comes into play, but its printed cost was not paid, put a Legend counter on this card. Remove three Legend counters, add a genetic counter target entity you control. Okay, whenever a Resonator comes into play, but it's printed cost was not paid. Put a legend counter on this card. Okay, so whenever you cheat something in or whatnot, put a legend counter on this card. Remove three legend counters. Add a genetic counter target entity you control. Okay. Remove ten legend counters. Target legend deals double damage this turn. X is equal to the attack of the targeted legend divided by 100. All right. And Aramis Guile, Cursed Assassin, Legend. So like, you know, you see that it cost five legend counters to play this guy, six, six. And that ruler did not have any stats on him. Um, okay, legend, sacred warrior. As long as this card is recovered, it gains barrier. If you control no resonators, this card gets plus six, plus six. R remove a resonator in your graveyard from the game. Target, um, and, and, and like the L stands for legend instead of J ruler, J. So target L slash resonator gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Banish a resonator. This card gains eternal or pierce or precision until end of turn. Or put a plus one, plus one counter on this card. Okay, let's uh, check out eternal. What is eternal? Pretty sure it's like indestructible, but let's make for sure. Actually, it's over here. Eternal destroy effects and lethal damage don't destroy it. Yeah, so so indestructible. Then we got Saren, the Lord of Knights, Bio Labs. Two red, two generic. Ten and eight. Resonator Android, Bio Labs type, like I said, dash and precision. Okay, so dash is like swiftness, but it specifically means may rest or attack resonators the turn it enters may not direct attack on the turn it enters so can attack the player can attack the opponent but it can tap for effects and attack resonators to turn it into play and of course you know to tap to to attack resonators they have to be tapped in foul all right so it's got dash and precision yeah so no precision i mean precision doesn't even have to be tapped though Okay, manifest. Yeah, what's manifest? Yeah, there's quite a bit of keywords, but I've got them in two places. Let me check out manifest. Yep, it's manifest. I do not see manifest for some reason, but it sounds like an ETB if I had to guess, but I'll have to look that up though. Okay, uh, Bio Labs Resonator, that's the trigger when it's in those um, those brackets, I think, the trigger, but uh, okay, Bio Labs Resonator and another Bio Labs Resonator. Uh, so tap, counter target spell, normal or spell instant um and if this card will be destroyed you may banish another bio labs resonator or remove all damage from this card instead okay catherine kiron napalm storm bio labs one red one generic five five resonator android first strike and swiftness you may pay 
one red less to play this card if you control a biolabs resonator with a different name than this card if you control three biolabs resonators with different names this card gets plus two plus two all right cool two drop to red biolab sniper cecil damon and all of these are going to be one ofs because you get another box it's the same thing and then like you know all three boxes will give you a full play set but yeah a bunch of one ofs probably split this video into two seeing as how there's a crap ton of cards in here but biolab sniper cecil damon biolabs uh two red five five resonator android bane and precision What's Bane? Hmm. Give me a second. Okay, Manifest. Okay, let's go back to Manifest. Manifest is a new terminology for incantation. Okay, so manifest is a continuous effect. It changes how the card is played. So yeah, so those two brackets, as you play this card, rather than paying its cost, you may banish a specific number of resonators with those attributes or archetypes. So let's see, manifest again. Manifest, biolabs, biolabs, yeah. Yeah, so it sounds like you can banish those types instead of paying the card cost. All right, and then back to Bane. What is Bane? Bane was born in the darkness. You just live in the darkness. Man, I don't see it, but I'm sure if you hit that website up, it'll tell you. But I'm looking right now. I don't even too much see it. All right, all right, I'm gonna look one more time. There's quite a few keywords, different ones than different ones than vanilla foul. Yeah, that just happens to be one that I just can't find right now. All right, but anyway, it's got Bane, and uh, whenever this card battles, all resonators lose eternal and can't gain eternal until end of turn. If this card will be destroyed, you may banish another Biolabs Resonator and remove all damage from this card instead. And eternal, we just said that was indestructible, right? Yeah, yeah, indestructible. All right, then we got Alter Code Drone Scouts, Biolabs, two five, one drop, Resonator Adventurer, enter, put a Biolabs Resonator with total cost two or less from your hand into play. Nice. And then that's how you'll get a counter by seeding stuff in with this ruler. Seeding stuff in, you get a counter. All right, one of those. Well, of course, like, you know, everything is a one. Well, I mean, there are three of us. You get a full play set. All right, Alter Company HQ, Lighthousing, Biolabs, Sweetheart. Um, addition Zone. So, Additions, if you don't know, those are the equipment. Um, as this card comes into play, name an archetype. Whenever the named archetype resonator comes into play under your control, add a genetic counter to this card. Maximum three. Okay. Remove a genetic counter from this card. Target L slash resonator gets plus one, plus one till the end of turn. Banish this card. Draw a card for each genetic counter on this card. Okay, so that was one archetype. A fire yeah so those are all bio labs yeah i'll go through a few more archetypes and um yeah so i heard like you know the best way to play this game from what i've heard was going straight archetypes but like and if you don't do that it's kind of things can be op but that's just what i hear though all right um uh, margaretha soren bio labs again okay so this is just actually Blue bio labs, both bio labs. Okay, uh, two blue, two generic, seven eleven, flying, manifest, ETB, bio labs, bio labs resonators. So you can uh, sack those two resonators, like instead of paying that four, and then spells your opponent controls that would target L slash resonators you control cost one more to play. 
Last Will, um, Death Rattle in Hearthstone or whatever. Whenever it dies, you get this effect. Draw two cards. Um, Wide Scanner Trentini, two drop, one blue. Biolabs, five, five. Resonator Android, Flying Precision. You may pay one blue less to play this card if you control a Biolabs Resonator with a different name than this card. Last Will, draw a card. Good for a nice red blue deck. Celia Ald Lab a Geneticist Biolab two drop one blue. Come on, focus. Six six. A resonator Human Instructor Precision, which means it can straight attack even untapped resonators. Shatter, and of course, if you don't know, resonator is a creature. Um, shatter. Okay, what's Shatter? Shatter is an automatic effect. Shatter means when this card is moved directly from the deck to the graveyard, you get the effect. Okay, so actually Shatter was the... Shatter is the death rattle. Deck to the... Deck to the grave... Okay, no, 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 no. Last Will is the death rattle. Rattle. Shatter is something you'll try to use if you got a mill deck. So if it goes from the deck, straight from the deck to the graveyard, then you get the shatter effect. Okay, so add a genetics counter to all Biolabs additions you control. Then add a legend counter to your ruler. Enter effect, you may banish another Biolabs resonator. If you do, put target Biolabs resonator from your graveyard into play. Nice. Lighthousing Somatology Lab Biolabs Two drop, one blue And addition Zone Whenever Biolabs Resonator comes into play Under your control Add a genetic counter to this card Resonator with total No uh, Resonators with total cost of two or less You gain control You control gain dash Remove four genetic counters from entities you control. Search for a Biolabs Resonator and add it to your hand. Remove five genetic counters from, from entities you control. Put target Biolabs Resonator with 800 attack or more from your graveyard into play. A lot of counters. Okay, then we got Mayan 1.03 Failed Demi-Human Biolabs 2.3. Dabbing on them. Resonator, Android Human. Tap, banish this card. Return target Resonator to its owner's hand unless its, unless its controller pays one generic. Discard this card whenever a Resonator you control. No, I mean, whenever a Resonator comes into play under your opponent's control without its printed cost being play, played, being paid or being played? Being played. Draw a card until end of turn. This effect may only be used by a card with the same name you control once per turn. Tenshoku Gamma I-10. Tenshoku Gamma I-11. All right. Um, Alt Isen, the, the Synthetic Master. Biolabs. 5 drop, 2 green, 12, 12. Resonator Android, first strike and precision. Manifest, Biolabs, Biolabs. So, cheat this guy in instead of paying that big 5. Just sack 2 guys. Uh, banish a Biolabs Resonator you control. Remove a genetic counter from an entity you control. Destroy target non-resource entity. Remove this card from your graveyard from the game. Target Resonator gains barrier until end of turn. Barrier, Aegis, whatever you want to call it. Maverick Guardian Kill 2.04. Biolabs 2 drop. 1 green. 5-5. Five, five. Resonator Android Corrupt. Dash. You may pay 1 green less, 1 win less to play this card if you control a Biolabs Resonator with a different name than this card. Whenever this card attacks, non Biolab Resonators can't activate effects until the end of the turn. Last will. Target Resonator gets minus two, minus two for each Biolabs Resonator in your graveyard. 
That's a fool. Yeah, I think I really want to uh, draft this though. Gemini S58 Alter Company Drones, Biolabs, 42, one green, Resonator Drone. Enter, search for an addition and add it to your hand. One wind, put X target cards from a graveyard on the bottom of its owner's deck or resource deck. X is equal to the number of additions you control. 3.07 artifact uh, prototype cloning. One green bio labs spell instant target resonator you control. Target a resonator you control. Search your deck for a bio labs resonator with the same attack as the targeted resonator and put it into play. It gains at the end of turn banish this card. God's art circuit overload. Remove this card in your graveyard from the game. Target Resonator gains swiftness until end of turn. Mm. Man, I remember God's Arts used to be on the rulers, but I kind of forget what the God's Arts are. Let's look it up. And let's just keep it pushing. Biotech Genesis, Biolevs, Zero Drop. Spell normal, shatter, remove this card from the game. Then if you did, put a Biolabs Resonator from your hand into play. So shatter, remember that it's uh, from the deck to the graveyard. Search for a Biolabs Resonator with total cost two or less and add it to your hand. You may play Biotech Genesis once per turn. And we got another ruler. So that was Biolabs right there. It's been 22 minutes. I guess we'll preview this next ruler and then uh, we'll pick the rest of this big stack up later. So we can uh, milk a lot of videos out of this, I think. If anybody's interested, I sure am. Uh, catcher, leader of the enchanters. Looks like this guy is all five colors. No orange in there, no moonstone, but a ruler, guild leader. Um, so energize. Man, I'm trying to remember what the Energize was. Once per the game, if you're the second player, you get to Energize. Thought that's how it went, but this guy gets five colors. Um, if a card would move from a deck to a graveyard, put that card on the bottom of its owner's deck instead, unless the owner of the card pays one for each card. So good anti-mill deck. X. So X cost, put a resonator with the total cost of X from your hand into play. If X is four or more, add a legend counter to this card. Use this effect only during main timing. And then his archetype is, I don't know, there goes another legend for him. And his archetype is Enchanters. All right, so we'll pick up with the Enchanters later. Um, yeah, it's, um, and then again, like I say, hit up that TSK, TCG .wordpress.com and get you some Tenshoku. Until next time, live long and prosper. Game changer, motivator, record breaker. Put that work and level up, escalators. Focus on your mission, see no competition. Unlock potential, tell these haters, see your business. Now I'm on.